Hello guys, Belle here. I'm going to be doing a video on Feral Druid spells and talents. Um, I'm going to just go into the light here a little bit, uh, just so that you guys, if you have not seen what the Feral Druid artifact weapon looks like um, in its beginning stage, you can see it here. I do apologize for it being dark on the server. It is nighttime, which is the only time I get the opportunity to record these videos with as less kid aggro in the background as humanly possible. So I wanted you guys to have like a neat little look at what this looks like. Uh, pretty fancy. Um, yeah, it's pretty legit. So wanted you guys to be able to see that. So let's talk a little bit about the Feral Druid. Now, I don't Feral Druid because I don't melee. Anybody that knows me knows that Bell and Melee just do not exist in the same universe. So let's talk a little bit about uh, what their core combat abilities are. You have Shred, Rake, Rip, Ferocious Bite, uh, Omen of Clarity, Primal Fury, and its mastery is going to be Razor Claws. So... Feral Druids do, are really high, quick damage dealers, especially when it comes to PvP. I don't know much about them in a PvE aspect, uh, but I do go against them a lot in PvP, and I have uh, a friend who loves Feral Druids, so they are pretty neat to play from what I understand. Uh, let's talk a little bit about their uh, spells. So here's what you're looking at as far as their spells are concerned. Um, the neat thing about the druid you're going to see in the talent, if you did not watch the balance druid video, is some of the integrations that you get with the other druid forms uh, as a talent choice in your in your situation. So for your talents, um, for your first set, you're going to notice that a lot of these are, some of these are talents you already know, you've already seen, you're just having to pick between them. A lot of pass abilities, passive abilities are in the mix here when it comes to all the different classes and specs in Legion. So for the first set, you have Predator, which is a passive ability. The cooldown uh, on Tiger's Fury resets when the target dies from one of your bleed effects. Uh, if one of those bleed effects is, of course, active. Your blood scent is also passive. Your melee abilities in cat form have a 10% increased critical strike chance on targets with a bleed effect. And your lunar inspiration, which is also a passive ability, your moonfire is now usable while in cat form, generates one combo point, um, deals damage based on attack power, and costs 30 energy. That's, I think that's actually pretty legit just because it does generate the combo point. Um, but <clears throat> it's going to be up to you what you want to choose from here. Now, with this set of talents, you have your Displacer Beast, your Wild Charge, and your Renewal, which you actually do have to choose between in this instance. Your Renewal does have a two-minute two minute cooldown. Your Displacer Beast is super important when it comes to probably things like solo, solo gameplay and your PvP. You're going to want to be able to use this... Um, for a lot of instances and then <clears throat> your wild charge of course based off what uh shape shift you are in what form you're in it's gonna you're gonna get a different ability from that your next set is gonna be where you get to pick and choose from other specs within the druid class and i highlighted this in the balance video because i thought that this was really neat so while being a feral druid you have balance affinity it's a passive you get astral influence this does increase the range of all your abilities by five yards that's pretty legit in itself for a feral druid you also learn the moonkin form star surge liner stri lunar strike solar wrath and sunfire now this is pretty neat how they've integrated and given you the ability to be able to choose because you can also as a feral druid choose guardian affinity now what this guardian affinity does you do get a thick hide so it reduces all your damage taken by 10 percent. super amazing i'm assuming in pvp and you also learn Mangle, Iron Fur, uh, and Frenzied Regeneration. So the third set of this is going to be your Restoration Affinity. This is your Sarah's Gift. Heals you for 3% of your maximum health. Uh, that is a passive thing that you do gain. And you also get Rejuvenation, Regrowth, and Swift Mend. This is going to be useful in a lot of scenarios where you're going to need to rely on a lot of your self-heals. And this is the way to be able to do that. Now because these talents don't cost tomes anymore. And you could easily swap in and out assuming you're not in combat. These can definitely be used on a huge situation depending upon when they're needed i chose the guardian affinity just because for the balanced video i'm pretty sure i did restoration just so we could kind of highlight that now your next set this is nothing new to druids but unfortunately uh blizzard now makes you choose between them as they have done all the other specs where they're giving you your normal things that you could use inherently are now you have to choose your mighty bash which this is uh invokes the spirit of your sock to stun the target 
um, four or five seconds and it is usable in all shapeshift forms. This is something specifically that's really, really good in PvP. Um, I, I don't know any other instances in PvE related if you get stunned. I mean, it's the same as any, any kind of uh, dispel or anything that you have that will remove any effects, trinkets and stuff like that. So you could take advantage of that. Your mass entanglement, uh, this is going to be pretty useful in PvP as most druids use them now, just because you can root the target. This is useful for things like silver shard mines, keeping them out of the circle. This is really, really useful for uh, flag carrying maps and stuff like that. Typhoon, this is everybody's favorite, guys. You're blowing people off the edge at Lumber Mill. You're doing all these fun knockback abilities with Typhoon. This is super important to a druid's rotation when it comes to PvP for certain instances. This might not be something that you would use in probably arena, like you would RBGs and it would probably be situational based off the battleground uh, when the knockback would be needed versus the mass entanglement or even your mighty bash. <clears throat> I'm thinking, excuse me guys, I, th I think I'm getting a little bit sick here so my voice is kind of doing weird things and I do apologize. With the mighty bash and the mass entanglement, mighty bash is preferable in arenas. You don't really use mass entanglement in arenas because it's not really needed. So that those are going to be your equal um, swapping between what's needed. Soul of the Forest is a passive ability. Your finishing move grants six energy per combo point. Then you have Incarnation, King of the Jungle. This is a three minute cooldown. It is an instant ability. It's an improved cat form that allows you to prowl while in combat, which is super important when you're doing, um, when you're doing solo, solo gameplay and stuff like that. This is definitely gonna be useful for you if you don't wanna aggro pretty much anything under the sun. Does cause Shred and Rake to deal damage, as if Stealth were active, reduces the cost of all cat form abilities by 50% and increases your maximum energy by 50. Now this effect does last for 30 seconds, so you can shapeshift in and out of this uh, improved cat form for the length of its duration. This is super awesome, and I think even though it has a really, really long cooldown, I still think it's pretty legit, and there I can think of a lot of reasons when you would in fact need to use it. Savage Roar, uh, costs 25 energy, it is an instant ability, finishing move grants 30%, increased damage to your cap form, attacks for their full duration, last longer per combo point. So you see the combo point breakdown here, the Savage Roar is pretty legit, I would imagine that this is probably going to be something that's going to be a lot useful when it comes to the gameplay, but these three choices, once again, most of these things is just a preference uh, according to what you're doing. Sabretooth, this is a passive ability. Uh, Ferocious Bite extends the duration of your rip by two seconds per combo point spent. Jagged Wounds is also passive. Your rip, rake, and thrash abilities deal the same damage as normal, but in 33% less time. You also have a Loon's Guidance. This is a 45 second cooldown. It is instant. Immediately gain five combo points and an additional one combo point for every... Uh, every one for five seconds. So this is going to be probably part of a rotation. Uh, not really sure how it'll be used in a PvP aspect. I will be doing PvP videos to help break that down as well as to talk about the honor talents for each spec and the possibilities that you do get there. So let's talk about the final set. You have your Brutal Slash. This Brutal Slash does replace Swipe. It is an eight yard range, um, which that's actually not too terrible. It's instant and does have a 16.2 second recharge. Now this, you have to be in cap form for this, strikes all nearby enemies with a massive slash. This does inflict a lot of physical damage. The fact that it inflicts at the base stats that I have with combatant gear, you're looking at 141k physical damage. And because it's all enemies, that 141k isn't split, which is gonna be a pretty powerful spell. It does award a combo point, maximum three charges. You have a 16 second recharge. I think that's pretty legit. Your blood talons, uh, casting healing touch causes your next two melee abilities to deal 30% increased damage for their full duration. I'm thinking this is gonna be super useful when it comes to PVP. This will allow you to be able to get a little bit of the uh, heals off when um, you need to heal yourself because that's just inherent as part of self survivability. Then you get some increased damage to go along with that. So you're basically getting two for the price of one, which I appreciate anytime you have those abilities in any spec you play. Moment of Clarity, which is passive. Omen of Clarity now affects the next three cat form abilities and your maximum energy is increased by 30. I can see a lot of useful moments for that. It's up to you, Feral Druids, to decide when you wanna pick and choose, what instances you would use those three things, or even Theory Craft. Since these classes and these specs are being rebuilt, now is the time where we get to really solidify and talk about a new style of gameplay and what works for you. <clears throat> now, with a Feral Druid, um, Feral druids are just super, super duper powerful. I'm not sure what's, 
how the animation how they look different so i'm just gonna do i don't know how to melee guys so don't judge me um but there's your that's your artifact weapon ability which seems pretty legit to me um i'm gonna heal myself just because reasons but i'm just clicking a bunch of stuff on the bar here so that you guys can kind of see oh that was really the thrash i really love that that's so nice um just clicking a bunch of stuff so that you guys can see what goes on so weird seeing that on a feral i don't know if anybody else feels like that's weird so there's gonna be your main stuff um pretty legit i dig the animations that's my largely thrash is my favorite and then your swipe so this is what you're looking at um keep in mind that i do have guardian i have guardians affinity up so that did add a lot of things to the situation um to be able to check it out so pretty nice you guys have now seen the spell animations uh, feral druids i'm sure are still going to be just as fun to play as they are now um that actually kind of makes me want to play a feral druid because that seemed relatively easy to do so hope you guys enjoyed this video i'm going to be doing all the specs of the druid if you have any questions feel free to leave a comment if there's anything you need to know regarding alpha don't hesitate to ask that is what i'm here for i am here for you if you're watching this video do me a favor and click the like button the video deserves a like you deserve a like likes for everyone. If you are new to Pwncast because these videos have brought you here, make sure you guys do subscribe to the channel so that you guys can keep up to date on all the things World of Warcraft. Thank you guys so much for joining me. I am off to find the land of the tacos.